Okay, so what's faster? Connecting these manually or connecting these using map problems? Twenty-two seconds for that. Turn restrictions are still there in the view, but that's just the display bug. You zoom out to refresh the view. Everything's connected. Your intersection is done. And you don't even have to zoom out unless you want to actually refresh the view. You're probably going to move the map to somewhere else to edit something else anyway, so that's unnecessary. At any rate, that's done quick and easy. The problem that we have with using map problems is it involves a lot more server refreshes and each re refresh takes longer because you're also asking the server to do more. If you turn map problems on right now, it doesn't show any map problems even though there's one here and actually I think it's going to show some for the end tips too but simply turning that on doesn't get you anything so I'm going to have to refresh at least once here um, and that takes some time but the problem also crops up that uh, you can't actually click on any of these problems once they show up if you have just turned this map problems on at least I can't I just tried it and it took over a minute of clicking and zooming and all kinds of stuff until I finally just refreshed the entire page with control F5 and then at that point it would let me select the map problems I mean that's avoidable by simply leaving that on all the time sure but it also slows everything down by leaving it on because of all the extra refreshes and all the extra work during each refresh um, I guess to make this absolutely fair I should just refresh right now before I hit refresh for map problem refresh um, if I don't all that's going to happen here is the uh, map problem numbers, the little bubble that will show up there. I can click it and click it in the middle of it, around the edge of it. It won't let me select it. So I'll just refresh now. Okay, now it still doesn't show anything for the map problems because it hasn't done a calculation for that. Um, so what I'll do here is I'll start the stopwatch and then click that refresh, wait for all that to happen, and I'll go through the little map problems routine for connecting these two. And that has changed my view from 20 meters to 5 meters, which I did not want to happen. So there, even at very best, almost 37 seconds. I mean, you even chop this in half and add that extra half on, I mean, that's 33 seconds. You know, roughly 50% longer to do it with the map problems method. Not to mention that it's changed my zoom level down to 5 meters for whatever reason. So I have to 
to zoom back out to get that back to the 20 meter setting which is usually the best to work at manual method works every single time it only does exactly what you want it to the map problems method it involves a lot more time even when everything works properly but things don't always work properly